Hello everyone. Let me throw light upon source-based questions. What is a source-based question? From asha.academy. Source-based question is nothing but a lesson from Flamingo will be compared with a lesson from Vistas or even from your class 11 lessons from Hornbill and the other one snapshot. So here is the very first question for you. If from any other sources, your lesson will be compared or uh, CBSC may try to uh, recollect your uh, knowledge, what your people have uh, acquired so far. Both the lesson, the last lesson and the third level talk about the characters and accessories that were owned by Charlie. Select the correct options under Charlie. They have given a few options, green eye shade, dress with leg of mutton sleeves, straw hat, tan gabardine suit. Wish your hammer, black coat, brown coat, green coat, little black silk cap. So you need to decide which is the right answer. So straw hat, green coat, tan gabardine suit, little black silk cap. So option three and four. So here option C is the correct answer. The next question, which one of the following pictures resonates with the Grand Central Station? So while learning your lesson, you must have served the net to get to know about which is the Grand Central Station, which is a very reputed one. So the very first option, this looks like a railway station, so it can be ruled out very easily. The second one, yes, it looks so grand, okay. And then the next one, look at the letters and the people. Yes, the letters look like Japanese or Chinese, so you can rule it out very easily. And then fourth one, option four, Frankfurt Airport. Frankfurt? No, not at all. So obviously the answer is two. So that is option A. Option A is the correct answer because it describes it describes the Grand Central Station. Okay, come to the next question. Charlie takes a temporary refuge from reality by collecting stamps. Mr. Hamill reproached himself for sending children to water the plants. What are the near one word substitutes for the above mentioned sentences? So from these two lessons, you need to get to know about what is the one word substitute. So here, collecting stamps, what is that? Okay, here, let me read out the options first. First one, philatelist. Second one, philanthropist. Third one, horticulturist. Fourth one, agriculturist. What is the right answer? Philatelist and horticulturist, the one who takes care of the garden. Here, children are sent to water the plants, is it not? So horticulturist. So one and three, option C is the correct answer. Yes, apply your brains, children. Only then you can get marks. Okay, question number four now. What are the rivers mentioned in the lessons? Deep water in the last lesson. Wentworth, for sure, that is a water body. But is it a lake or pond or river? You need to know about that one. Lorraine. Lorraine was conquered by the Prussians there in the lesson, the last lesson, Yakima River, because it's been uh, given there in the lesson, deep water. Yes, Sar, again, it's been given there in the lesson, the last lesson, Yakima in deep water. Angelus, no, not at all, it's not a river, but it's given there in the last lesson. Maine, it's been given there in deep water, but we don't know whether it is a water body or uh, or uh, uh, any other particular place. Alsace, yes, 
it was conquered by the Prussians again. Yes. So you need to read the lesson in and out. Only then you can get to know about the answer. So Yakima and Sar. These two are the rivers mentioned in the lesson deep water and the last lesson. So number two, option D is the right answer. Yes, bingo. You do get full marks. The next one, pick up the correct options for the following characters. From the lessons, the enemy and the summer of the beautiful white horse. The summer of the beautiful white horse. Wonderful lesson. Yes, from class 11 English. Sadao. Sadao. Under him, what are all the words or phrases uh, they have given here? Skilled surgeon, humanitarian, arrogant, crazy. Under Aram, a nine-year-old boy, poor boy, a Syrian bold. Yes, Sadaw was a skilled surgeon and that's the reason why he was retained there in his hometown so that he could perform surgery on General Takima. Humanitarian? Yes, of course. He's a humanitarian because he's a person who treated Tom, who was a, a prisoner of war. Yes. Was he arrogant? No, not at all. Was he crazy? No. Aram, a nine-year-old boy? Yes, absolutely. Poor boy? Yes. Assyrian? No, he's an Armenian. Bold? No, not at all. So here, option one and two. Option one and two, which means that option A is the right answer. Okay, and now, next one. The third, uh, question number six. The third level and the last lesson, both the lessons make the reader to think of war. Yes, see, to think of war here. The more you sweat in peace, less you bleed in war. So this particular quote is all about war. If you want to be strong, learn to fight alone. It's easier to fight for one's principle than to live up to them. Never be in a hurry. Do everything quietly and in a calm spirit. So which is the right quote or option for this question? See here the key word is to think of war. War is the key word. So here the very first one talks about war. The second one to fight and the third one is also to fight. And uh, fourth one easily you can rule it out. So option A. Come to the next one, number seven. Choose the pictures which is not associated with a poem. My mother at 66. Everyone loves his or her mother here. Is that not? Yes. So here, look at the picture one. It talks about railway station. It appears. It is a railway station. The second picture, a car. Yes, both of them. Mom and daughter duo, both of them, they were traveling in a car to Cochin Airport, not to the railway station. Yes. And yes, her mother was pretty old lady dozing off there. The next picture. Yes. Happy children merrily playing there. So these three pictures are associated with the poem, My Mother at 66. But look, look at the picture number one. Number one is not associated with the poem. So which is the right answer? Option A. A is the correct answer. Bingo, you do get full mark. Yes. Okay, children. So these are all the few questions for practice here. Please do watch asha.academy for further question papers. Thank you. Please do like, share and comment.